evening. Welcome to What Matters, May 17th, 2021, 12, 21 a.m. Let us visit the about page of the BIS, better known as the Bank for International Settlements. Our mission is to support central banks pursuit of monetary and financial stability through international cooperation and to act as a bank for central banks. To pursue our mission, we provide banks with a forum for dialogue and broad international cooperation, a platform for responsible innovation and knowledge sharing, in-depth analysis and insights on core policy issues, sound and competitive financial services. To deliver on our mission and be able to respond to the evolving nature of our business, our work is anchored in strong core values that shape the way in which we work. These values are the shared principles and beliefs that unite our staff and guide our actions to promote a cohesive, purpose-driven culture to support central banks through their current and future challenges. We deliver through excellence and performance. We are committed to continuous improvement and innovation. We act with integrity. We foster a culture of diversity, inclusion, sustainability, and social responsibility. Established in 1930, the BIS is owned by 63 central banks representing countries from around the world that together account for about 95% of world GDP. Its head office is in Basel, Switzerland, and it has two representative offices in Hong Kong, SAR, and in Mexico City, as well as innovation hub centers around the world. 63 central banks, people. Let us peruse this for a moment before we move on. Bank of Algeria, Central Bank of Argentina, Reserve Bank of Australia. Let us scroll down. Hmm? Let us see. That is very interesting. I was actually trying to see if the Federal Reserve was one of the banks. And they're not on the list. That's very interesting. The Bank of Israel, the Bank of Italy, the Bank of Japan, the Bank of Korea, the Bank of Greece. Deutsche Bundesbank. I believe that's Deutsche Bank. Let me make sure. Um, I'm not just saying that. I, yeah, well, I believe it's Deutsche Bank. <sighs> European Central Bank. Hmm. The Central Bank of Brazil. Bulgarian National Bank. Bank of Canada. Okay, get out of there. Now, let us go a little deeper before we move on to the next. <laughs> All right. Let us go to their contact page. All right, so they are in Basel, Switzerland, Tower Building Headquarters. Uh, I can't pronounce this. Aschenplatz 14051, Basel, Switzerland. Let us move on to the next major financial institution. The Financial Stability Board. Let's go to their about page. The Financial Stability Board is an international body that monitors and makes recommendations about the global financial system mandate of the FSB. The FSB promotes international financial stability. It does so by coordinating national financial authorities and international standard setting bodies as they work toward developing strong regulatory supervisory and other financial sector policies. It fosters a level playing field by encouraging coherent implementation of these policies across sectors and jurisdictions. The FSB work through its members seeks to strengthen financial systems and increase the stability of international financial markets. 
the policies developed in the pursuit of this agenda are implemented by jurisdictions and national authorities. More specifically, the FSB was established to assess vulnerabilities affecting the global financial system as well as to identify and review on a timely and ongoing basis within a macro proof Potential perspective the regulatory, supervisory, and related actions needed to address these vulnerabilities and their outcomes. Promote coordination and information exchange among authorities responsible for, na for financial stability. Monitor and advise on market developments and their implications for regulatory policy. Monitor and advise on best practice in meeting regulatory standards. Undertake joint strategic reviews of the international standard setting bodies and coordinate their respective policy development work to ensure this work is timely, coordinated, focused on priorities, and address gaps. Set guidelines for establishing and supporting supervisory colleges. Support contingency planning to cross, excuse me, for cross border crisis management particularly with regard to systemically important firms. Collaborate with the International Monetary Fund, IMF, to conduct early warning exercises. Finally, promote member jurisdictions implementation of agreed commitment standards and policy recommendations through monitoring, excuse me, monitoring of implementation, peer review, and disclosure. Let's stop right there. Let us go to their contact page. How do we contact the FSB? Okay. Secretariat to the Financial Stability Board, Bank for International Settlements, Central Bar Platz 2, CH 4002, Basel, Switzerland. Did you hear that? Where is ba uh, the Bank for International Settlements located again? Central Bar Platz 2, 40, 51, Basel, Switzerland. Asian Platz 1, 40, 51, Basel, Switzerland. Bata, B O T T A building. Tower building, headquarters. Where is FSB again, y'all? Secretariat to the Financial Stability Board, Bank for International Settlements, Central Bar Platz 2, CH 4002, Basel, Switzerland. Two of the highest financial institutions in the world. Now, I've given blogs on the primary dealer slash counterparties of the Federal Reserve. I've given a blog on the member bank's of the Fed. Mm -hmm. I will provide those in the description section. Now, to be fair, when I look at this list from the BIS, right? Let's go back to, okay. Let's go back to their, their overview page. When you look at the list, it says here again, established in 1930 this is the BIS on their about page about BIS overview established in 1930 the BIS is owned by 63 central banks representing countries from around the world that together account for about 95 percent of world GDP its head office is in Basel, Switzerland, and it has two representative offices in Hong Kong, SAR, and in Mexico City, as well as innovation hub centers around the world. 63 central banks. The Federal Reserve is not on this list. That is very interesting. Since, you know, United States holds what? Oh, my God. Excuse me, y'all. On this list is the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve United States. Are you catching this? Why do this guy keep talking about finance? Oh my God. Yo, listen to me. Okay. 
we talked about the primary dealers of the New York Fed. A list of 24 banks. We talked about how they're also counterparties, meaning they can operate just like the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. We talked about the member banks of the Federal Reserve. Every district has 12 districts of the Federal Reserve. They all have member banks. All of those banks are required to own a certain amount of shares. Now, those shares can't be traded like regular stocks like common stock. They're more like preferred to a degree. Anyway, understand this. There are member banks that own shares in the Federal Reserve in the different 12 districts. We've seen here 63 banks own the BIS. One of them is the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve. Are you kidding me? The Board of... We have to go here for a minute. The Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve System. All right. Where do they sit? Let's do this, y'all. There we go. You know where they sit, y'all? Constitution Avenue Northwest and 20th Street Northwest, Washington, D.C., 20551. So they also own the BIS. Let's go back to the BIS about page. What did they say? Established in 1930, the BIS is owned by 63 central banks representing countries from around the world that together account for about 95% of world GDP. Its head office is in Basel, Switzerland, and it has two representative offices in Hong Kong, SAR, and in Mexico City, as well as innovation hub centers around the world. Isn't it interesting that Hong Kong is a representative office? The same Hong Kong that was a British colony? The same Hong Kong where opium was traded in the 1800s through John Company, Honorable Company, i.e. British East India Company. Later, you had Jardine Matheson come in and they were over Canton, still China. Hmm? You also had British India. They were, they were British colonies, British India and Hong Kong. Then you had Thomas Sullivan and his partners who went and founded what? The Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation, which later bought Midland Marine Bank out of New York and changed it, Midland National Bank, I believe, anyway, and changed it to what? HSBC USA Incorporated, which got caught during Obama's administration in 2009 doing what, y'all? Laundering drug money, thanks to John Cruz's world banking, world fraud, using your identity. And you wonder why I focus on this stuff so much. Are you kidding me? The board of governors of the Federal Reserve is an owner of the BIS. The BIS and the FSB share the same building. Two of the highest financial institutions in the land that set policy. For GSIBs, globally, systemically important banks, and sci-fis, systemically important financial institutions. And you wonder why I keep talking about this stuff. You want to know um, what will help you understand a whole lot of what's going on? Go start studying your banks. Go start studying your financial institutions. Now, they do what they want to do. They're not going to change for you and me. I got so, <laughs> there's so much stuff on, on, on this right here alone. People want to make money, but they don't want to understand it. They want to be financially free, but they refuse to understand the basics. And you wonder why I keep bringing this stuff up. I'm not trying to be rude or condescending. I'm trying to help. Listen, you got to understand this. You want to invest in Bitcoin, in Ethereum, in Litecoin, in Dogecoin, or however the hell they pronounce it. You want to invest in stocks, bonds, options, derivatives, i.e. ETFs. You want to do what you want to do. It's your money. 
But if you don't understand what you're doing, you might get lucky. And luck does exist. Some people call it blessed. Whatever you want to call it. Some people get lucky. Some people get blessed. I'm a pragmatist. I plan. I'm open for luck. I'm open to be blessed. But, hey, I'm an old man now. Some would disagree with that. But I'm old now. I don't have time for hope. I don't do hope strategies. Shout out to Coach Greg Adams. Anyway, BIS, the Bank for International Settlements, FSB, the Financial Stability Board, the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve, GSIPs, Globally Systemically Important Banks, SIFIs, Systemically Important Financial Institutions, the member banks of the Fed, Fed being Federal Reserve, the primary dealer slash counterparties of the Federal Reserve. All right, folks. Until next time. See you on the flip side.